Hello, I'm Magin Panic, and today I have a tutorial for you. Tutorial for fire. This one, actually. Uh, it will be much different than the tutorial I did a couple years ago. Uh, that tutorial was uh, a little bit too complex, I guess. And this one will be for people that want to start with the fire. And, well, let's just start with it. It will be based on this uh, blade of grass animation, followed by this raindrop animation. And what you can see on the screen right now, I'm just designing how the fire will look. Uh, and I'm going towards this aggressive shapes, more adult-ish animation. Uh, and this is what we'll be focused on in this tutorial. So let's start with it. So right now I'm drawing this blade of grass and I'm drawing this animation, not a very, very simple uh, left to right uh, animation. I'm breaking this pattern and I want to break this animation and in half of that I want to uh, make a little bit of change uh, in the direction so it will not be so vividly left to right but with some breakage. Uh, okay, right after that I'm opening the next layer. Obviously it has to be looped. Uh, the next layer is this raindrop shape. It will help me create this fire, but I will follow it loosely. Uh, it will not be like one-to-one -one, uh, redraw of that, of, that, of that shape because uh, the fire uh, is not acting like that. The main part is I'm not drawing uh, too many extra particles on top of the fire. And the reason for that is uh, we don't want shape like this. This is very, very wrong and very weirdly looking. Uh, to make it look good, uh, we want a more simpler approach. And uh, the other way is why those, those little parts will come from. Uh, we will struggle with uh, so many, so many little parts and how, how the parts are creating. So this one part is creating one particle. Uh, that's what I'm focused right now for. And then as more will come, we'll draw more. Uh, so uh, I'm also don't want, as I said, I don't want to follow this raindrop shape too much. I want to break it uh, to not have the perception of this raindrop in, in this fire too much. So I'm going outwards of this shape as much as I can uh, to just not follow this raindrop shape too much. It's just a base to base on and not something to redraw, you know? I, I'm just following the motion and not following the raindrop shape. Uh, of course, we have the, the holes uh, and they are coming from the bottom part. They are growing. Uh, they are just growing uh, simply, simply uh, from the point they origin uh, and they are just going upward with the motion of the of the flame of the fire and as always i'm trying to make everything disappear on the top part because the holes are growing too much uh, so it just eat the particles of the fire the main thing wrong i did here is i kind of followed the raindrop shape too much and what i did is uh, I make the fire go outwards and then go back, which is wrong. Uh, the shape of the fire that we have is basically because we uh, put the holes inside of it and those holes are creating this shape of the fire, uh, not, <laughs> not the other way. It's not creating by itself, of course. Uh, the fire is going outwards, so we don't want the shape going backwards inside. Instead, we want to go uh, outwards from the main shape uh, to the other side of the screen. So right now what I'm doing, I'm stretching this fire to make it go outwards. I should probably do it uh, at the very beginning, but it's better for you to have this, uh, to have this go through uh, and not make my mistake because it might happen. Uh, so I'm drawing those little shapes one by one. I'm not redra redrawing and fixing entire shape at once because I will not follow those, those shapes, like the direction of each hole 
uh, will be too complex to follow to have all of that uh, animated by me so uh, I'm focusing on one part that's uh, just disappearing and this is it then I'm moving to the next one uh, now we have the inside shape and take a look most of the uh, space between the outer shape and inner shape are the same but in some places we drew holes and we modify those uh, those distance so that what we have here and uh, this layer is much much simpler because we just have the outer shape and we just need to feel something inside uh, and just modify the distance between the outer shape and our inner shape if the hole will appear it's nice to have this hole on the inner shape on the frame before uh, so we will know subconsciously that the hole will appear in this spot and the same goes for every single uh, frame here we are going upwards with the motion creating some holes here and there and shrinking down this element to the point it just disappearing and more more of that uh, of that second layer is coming from the bottom obviously and it goes up frame by frame by frame I'm uh, not drawing it uh, just with the brush as you can see I'm using eraser uh, it's much much easier to create those more aggressive shapes with eraser those pointy pointy lines more and more simple with the eraser pro tip once I have it, once I'm happy with the results, we can start doing some colors on it. Uh, I used gradients for it to recolor every single, every single uh, frame of the animation. We have to click on the layer, we have to go to the tool properties, select this icon and then we select everything go to color click the gradient and now we have to pick the gradient tool and modify if we will click somewhere else it will not work so black arrow select everything modify gradient gradient and then uh, lighter on the top uh, darker on the top and lighter uh, lighter on the bottom that's the way to go because it's more heat on the bottom of the fire and then the next layer exactly the same selecting all frames changing colors of them changing gradient and this is pretty much all we need to do right now i obviously did some changes and added some glows and stuff uh, in the professional animation uh, you don't do those stuff usually the comp dudes are doing it so you are just sending them the rough animation or the clean animation i would rather say and that's pretty much pretty much it and they will do the magic for you uh, if you are doing it for yourself it's good to know all those nodes how how they work those blurs and matte resize and basically anything that you that you will ever need but most of the time you will just draw simple shapes and then send those over. Hope you like it. Hope you learned something. As I said, it's much much simpler approach than the uh, than the tutorial I did a couple years ago. And uh, well, it's something to start with because the fire is uh, so unpredictable and it's not going this way and it's not looping in 30 frames. Uh, the fire should have much much more frames and it shouldn't look like it's looping because fire is so unpredictable subscribe to my channel if you like what i'm doing if it was good like this video and share it thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one cheers